So welcome to IIT Foundation Mathematics Class 8, Mass Tricks it is, continuation of uh, number systems it is. If a number 573xy is divided by 90, then what is the value of x plus y? So a number is given 573xy, 573xy, some xy. So you have to identify the values of x and y. But here one condition is given that number must be exactly divisible by 90 it is. If that number is exactly divisible by 90, then so what is the value of x plus y? See here, when the given number is divisible by 90, when the given number is divisible by 90, so 90 can be written as, see here what is our plan, what is our strategy, given number can be written as product of co prime cities. So, 90 can be written as uh, 9 into 10, 90 can be written as 9 into 10 it is. So, means uh, th uh, these two are co-primes to each other, 9 and 10 are co-primes to each other. When you say that co-primes, their HCF is 1, their HCF is 1. So, for 9 and 10 HCF is how much now? 1 is the HCF. So, given number can be written as product of co-prime. So, 90 can be written as. 9 into 10, HCF of 9 and 10 is 1 it is, ok. Now, if the given number is exactly divisible by both 9 and 10, what is the rule here? If the given number is exactly divisible by both 9 and 10, that number must be exactly divisible by 90 it is. So, you have to check, so whether the given number is exactly divisible by 9 and 10 it is, ok. Now, when we say the given number is exactly divisible by 10, which numbers are exactly divisible by 10? In the 7th class, we discussed about uh, divisibility test it is. In 7th class, divisibility tests are there. We discussed in detail in 7th class. You see the video of 7th class divisibility test it is, ok. What is the divisibility test by 10 it is? Last digit is 0. In the given number, units place value is 0. Units place value is 0. Then that number is exactly divisible by 10 it is. Now, in this number, 573xy. 573xy, what is the units place value? y. So, according to our condition here, units place value be 0, then only that number is divisible by 10. So, y value is 0, ok. Now, here in 573xy, so what is the value of y? 0. Then only that number is exactly divisible by 10. Clear? We get the value of y. Now, here you have to calculate the value of x now. We require x plus y. So, how can you calculate the value of x now? One more condition is there, that number must be divisible by 9 also. That number must be divisible by 9 also. What is the divisibility test by 9? Sum of the digits of a given number is, sum of the digits of a given number is exactly divisible by 9. Digits sum, digits sum is divisible by 9. So, that number is exactly divisible by 9. Now, we will check the digits sum now, 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus x plus y, y is already 0, ok. So, what is the sum of the digits now? 7 plus 3, 10, 15 plus x it is. So, this 15 plus x must be divisible by, this 15 plus x must be divisible by 9. Uh, what is the number greater than 15 divisible by 9? 15 plus is there. So, 9 to the 18, 18 is divisible by 9. But 15 plus x is there. So, what is the value of x now? 3. If the value of x is 3, 15 plus 3, 18. So, 18 is divisible by 9 it is. So, we identified the least value of x also. What is the least value of x here? 3 it is. What is the value of y? 0. So, x is 3, y is 0. So, we require x plus y. Find the value of x plus y. So, 3 plus 0. So, what is our answer for this question? answer is 3, x plus y is 3 it is. All of you understand, once again listen to me carefully. So, when the number is divisible by 90 means 90 can be written as product of co-prime, that is the first step. So, 90 can be written as 9 into 10, 9 into 10 means if the given number is exactly divisible by both 9 and 10, indirectly that number is exactly divisible by 90. If the given number is exactly divisible by 9 and 10, indirectly that number is exactly divisible by 90. So, when the given number is divisible by 10, when the given number is divisible by 9, so that you have to check. What is the divisibility test by 10? 
if the last digit units place value is 0, then that number is exactly divisible by 10. So, units place value in this number here 573xy, what is the units place value y? So, y is 0, then only that number is divisible by 10 it is, clear? So, now when the given number is divisible by 9, what is the rule? What is the divisible test by 9? Sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Sum of the digits means 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus x plus y, y is 0. Now, how much you got? 15 plus x. That 15 plus x must be divisible by 9. So, 15 plus. So, what is the number divisible by 9? 9 to the 18. 18 is divisible by 9. So, 15 plus x is there. So, what is the value of x now? 3. 15 plus 3 is 18. So, x value, what is the least value of x here? Largest values you get infinite, infinite. What is the least value? 3 it is. x is 3. So, x we get 3, y is 0. What is the value of x plus y? So, 3 plus 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. So, our answer be 3 it is for this question it is. Okay. So, one more question I will discuss with you in this video. See here, what is that question? The product of two whole numbers is 13. What is the question here? The product of two whole numbers is 13. The product of two whole numbers is 13. What is the what is the sum of the sum of the squares of what is the sum of the squares of their reciprocals? So this is the question. What is the sum of the squares of their reciprocal cities? Okay. The product of two whole numbers is 13. What is the condition given? Given the product of two whole numbers is 13. 13 is the prime number. It can be written as product of only two whole numbers. It is 1 and 13. 1 into 13. Clear? Product of two whole numbers. 1 is the whole number. 13 is the whole number. So, 13 can be written as product of two whole numbers, only one possibility is there. So, 1 into 13 it is. So, what is the sum of the squares of the reciprocal? What is the reciprocal of 1? What is the reciprocal of 1? 1 by 1. What is the reciprocal of uh, Reciprocal means inverse. What is the inverse of 13? 1 by 13. Inverse of 1 is 1 by 1. Inverse of 13 is 1 by 13 it is. Okay. We require the sum of the squares of the reciprocals. Sum of the squares, 1 by 1 is 1, 1 by 13, sum of the squares, 1 square plus 1 by 13 whole square. This we require, sum of the squares of their reciprocals, sum of the squares of their reciprocals. Reciprocal of 1 is 1, reciprocal of 13 is 1 by 13, sum of their squares means 1 square plus 1 by 13 whole square, 1 square is 1. So, 1, 1 by 13 whole square, 1 square by 13 square, so 169, so 169 plus 1 by 169. So, how much value you got? 170 by, so 169, so it is our answer, 169 by, uh, 170 by 169 is our answer it is, okay. Now, one more question I will discuss with you in this video it is, okay. Now, what is that? So, see here, find the units digit in the expression. Find the units digit in the expression. One expression is given. So, 11 power 1 into 12 power 2 into 13 power 3 into 14 power 4 into 15 power 5 
into 16 power 6. Now in this expression, what is the units place value? So already we discussed in the previous uh, videos, how can we calculate the unit digit of any particular uh, value is given. Any For any particular value, larger power is given. How can you calculate the units place value? That already we discussed in one video. So you have to see that video. So before uh, seeing this example, okay. So first you have to see that video. Okay, units place value video. Now see here, here we require only units place value. So we identify only units place value. So 1 power 1, so units place value be 1. Now 2 square, you consider only units place value. In 12 square, you have to take only 2. Units place value only you have to consider 2 square. 2 square is 4. Now here also you have to consider only units place value. In 13, you have to consider 3. 3 cube. 3 cube is 27. In 27, you take only units place value 7 it is. You take only units place value 7 it is. Okay. Now here also 4. In 14, you consider only 4. 4 power 4. 4 power 4. What is the units place value? Already we discussed. 4 power odd is 4, units place value, 4 power even is units place value 6, that already we discussed, 4 power even is there, units place value be 6, 4 power odd is there, 4 power odd is there, units place value be 4, now here 4 power 4, 4 power 4, power is even, power is even means uh, units place value be 6, now 5 power always, 5 it is uh, 6 power always, 6 it is, that we discussed. Now, what is the units place value? Last two digits, if you observe, 5 into 6 is how much you got? 30. What is the product of all this now? So, 5 into 6 is 30. 30 means units place value is 0. 0 into any value is 0. So, what is the answer for this expression? Find the units of digit in the expression 11 power 1 into 12 power 12, 2 into 13 power 3 into 14 power 4 into 15 power 5 into 16 power 6. What is the units place value? 0 is the units of place value. Very simple mass tricks logics are there. Okay. So, this video share to your friends also. Okay. Thank you to all of you. In the next class again, I will meet you with uh, so new techniques it is. Okay. Thank you to all of you.